Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever is caused by infection which is caused by tick-borne virus, nirovirus. Initial signs and symptoms including headache, high fever, back pain, joint pain, stomach pain, and vomiting. Red eyes, a flushed face, a red throat, and patechi, red spots, on the palate are common. Symptoms may also include jaundice, and in severe cases, changes in mood and sensory perception. Onset of symptoms is less than two weeks following exposure. When the illness progresses, large areas of severe bruising, severe nosebleeds, and uncontrolled bleeding at injection sites can be seen. Beginning on about the fourth day of illness and lasting for about two weeks. The disease can complicate with liver failure. Incubation period from tick bite is typically two to three days but can last as long as nine days rarely more. Ixodid ticks, hard ticks are both a reservoir and a vector for the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Animals, such as cattle, goats, sheep and hares, serve as amplifying hosts for the virus. Transmission to humans occurs through contact with infected ticks, tick bite, or animal blood. Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever can be transmitted from human to human, but contact with infectious blood or body fluids are needed. Sometimes the disease spreads in hospitals due to improper sterilization of medical equipment, reuse of injection needles, and contamination of medical supplies. Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever symptoms occur sudden. Fatality rates is high in hospitalized patients, have ranged from 9% to as high as 50%. The long-term effects of infection have not been studied well enough in survivors to determine whether or not specific complications exist. However, recovery is slow. Risk factors. Animal herders, livestock workers in endemic areas are at risk of Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Also healthcare workers are at risk infection through unprotected contact with infectious blood and body fluids. Individuals and international travelers with contact to livestock in endemic regions may also be exposed. Treatment for Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever is primarily supportive. Including fluid balance and correction of electrolyte abnormalities, oxygenation and hemodynamic support, and appropriate treatment of secondary infections. The virus is sensitive in vitro to the antiviral drug ribavirin. It has been used in the treatment of the infection. Patients reportedly with some benefit. Prevention involves avoiding tick bites, using safe practices in meat processing plants, and observing universal healthcare precautions. A vaccine is not commercially available.